Well, thank you, Mr. Commissioner, for, for joining me in this morning tea uh, that I'm having. I don't know, how are you today, actually? Well, I'm it's... fine. I'm fine. I, I was just looking at your cup because I'm taking this tea, but are you more a coffee person? Yeah, in principle, I'm more, especially in the morning, I'm more a coffee person. Yes, indeed. And what about in your office? Uh, it depends. Some are more coffee, some are more tea, but uh, I think coffee is more predominant. You know, at the office of the European Youth Forum, we always run out of uh, coffee beans. So, so yeah, I would say that our office is more coffee, uh, coffee populated. But yeah, let's let's talk about internship. That is uh, okay. why we wanted to to have you here today. Um, I wonder, have you ever done an internship, you yourself as commissioner? You know, uh, when I was a student, that some time ago, I. I never did really an internship. I worked during the holiday, but it was never really an internship. So I cannot, but that was a time, I think, when uh, internship were, internships were much more limited. Some professions or some students did internships, but that some time ago, some decades ago, if I may <laughs> say so, uh, it was less, uh, less uh, popular to have internships. Yeah, I actually recognize that when talking with people from the generation of my parents, for example. Yeah, it's true that they didn't do internships that, that often. But now what we see with young people is that actually all of us, we do internships. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a normality for, for us whenever we are trying to, to enter the labor market. So w what I wonder as well is how what can actually a young person offer to the labor market? So according to you, as, as commissioner, like what's a young person bringing to, to the labor market? Well, I, I think that uh, in principle, internships are a good thing uh, because it brings you closer to the, uh, to the reality of uh, the labor market, of uh, work. It gives you uh, some experience. It shows you how in a company or an administration or an organization, things are functioning. It gives you some practical experience. So it is, I think, in, uh, in many cases, uh, a, a, a good opportunity and it prepares you better for the labor market. And we have, as you know, we had organized some polls and, uh, uh, and, and the polls indicate that 76% uh, of young people say, well, the internship has helped me to find a job. I have learned how to look for a job, but also it has helped me to find a job. So in principle, uh, it's a good thing that uh, we have internships, but a, a lot depends on the modalities. You know, that, that for sure. And actually, I remember that very recently we had the, <clears throat> the data from the Eurobarometer in, in 2023 that told us that uh, half of the young people in Europe has, have performed at least two internships, which was for me personally like a bit, a bit shocking, especially if we look at the evolution no, in, in previous decades. And what we saw also is that the internships, they, they boomed at the previous financial crisis. So now it's, of course, a, a reality that we are seeing between young people. But the reality as well is that internships and unpaid internships are many times replacing actual jobs or so first entry jobs for young people. So how do you think we can actually prevent that young yeah. people are used as cheap labor or that they are actually replacing an, a, a, job, a, a job opportunity? Yeah, this is precisely uh, the, the problem because internships are internships. Internships cannot replace uh, uh, a first job experience. Uh, and, uh, and, and that that has to be prevented because we all know that uh, if internships are transformed in some kind of a, of a real job, that's cheap labor because either people are not paid at all or they are paid at a much uh, lower level. So I know that this is uh, some kind of a practice which uh, even with the paid internships that many young people finally, because they have good experience, they learn fast. So they are used even in internships to do some real work. Uh, I, you know, I have, I have children who have uh, made internships uh, and I've asked them, 
well, what are you doing? And what she described to me was not uh, just looking and learning. It was really doing some real work. And that's why it is so important that there cannot be work for free. This is unacceptable. Uh, it is a good experience. I agree. It's a good preparation for the labor market. It gives the student, but also the company, an idea of the potential also, because very often, and we see also in the figures that people then later on get a job in the company where they have done internships. Mm -hmm. But it cannot be doing work and, and not being paid. In, unacceptable. And that's, that's what we have to prevent. Yeah, and on top of that, I, I also think that in, in those years in which we are performing unpaid internships or, or just internships, we can also bring a lot of enthusiasm and innovation to, to the labor market, right? I mean, because those are the years in which we come from, from our studies, so we first joined the labor market and, and we have other inspiration, no? We can bring like new practices, we can also uh, show the labor market like how to adapt to the new generations that, that are coming. So I feel that it's also a way to, to recognize that potential that we are bringing as, as young people to, to the labor market, isn't it? So. Well, I think that uh, companies, uh, uh, they, they, they have an interest, or at least they should see their interest uh, to give good internships to young people. Uh, first, as I said, to, to, to discover their potential, uh, to discover and find new collaborators, uh, but also uh, to benefit from the new experience. These are young people who have, uh, well, amidst their studies, who are studying, uh, having the newest uh, knowledge, the best knowledge uh, available, uh, who are still open also to learn, but also to give some, uh, some of their uh, views, refreshing news, uh, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes also ref refreshing uh, approaches. So the company is gaining from that. And that's why, if the company is gaining, this has to be paid. And that's why uh, uh, I think there, there should be a win-win. Well, if I take somebody in, if I take a young person in, it's because there is an interest on my side and there is an interest on the side of the young person. So, and that's why uh, there has to be a, a, a remuneration. Mm -hmm. In, the, in, in our last research about uh, this matter on, on unpaid internships, we found out that uh, for a young person that is uh, performing an unpaid internship for, for six months, we need to pay around or over 6,000 euros from our own pocket on basic needs alone. So that means that uh, every month we would be paying like more than 1,000 euros. And for so many people, for many young people, we cannot rely on our families, we cannot rely on our savings because we don't have them yet. So how can we make sure that everyone can actually access uh, uh, an internship with equal opportunities? How, how we make sure that to, to overcome this economic barrier? Well, first, the access to an internship is very important. And we are talking a, a lot about uh, uh, social responsibility uh, in companies. Uh, it is also a social responsibility of companies first to give young people the possibility to discover the world of work. That's the first thing. Second, social responsibility is also to give young people who do not have the relationships, who do not know somebody who knows and who knows and so on, to uh, take more uh, people with uh, less relationship or vulnerable uh, groups inside. This is the second one. And the third one is obviously you cannot just uh, accept that young people has to pay on top uh, work, bring a contribution, and uh, finally uh, be able to finance. And especially those who do not have the money, because the parents do not have the money. Either they have really to work mm -hmm. to gain some money to pay for their studies, for instance, or uh, they have to have an internship, learn and contribute, but then th this has to be paid. So I think this is a, a big social responsibility of companies 
Yeah, I couldn't agree more actually on, on this. And you know that from the European Youth Forum, we have been advocating to end unpaid internships for years already. In the last year and a half, we have been running a campaign that is, can you afford to work for free? And, and with this, we, we have been advocating for the end of, of unpaid internships in, in Europe. And, and so many people actually have joined this effort uh, with us to, to demand European institutions and, and the national uh, states to actually make a change here. So what do you have to say to all these people that want unpaid internships to, to end in Europe, that want the European Commission to, to do something on this matter? Well, I remember when we first met, we had a discussion on this issue. And I said, well, we tried to do something. We have a recommendation on quality internships, but there's nothing in about uh, remuneration. And this is not normal because, well, we see that 40%, 50% of internships are not paid, which is just uh, unacceptable. It represents also a, a huge discrimination. And um, now I think we are, we are going for a, a, a directive trying to really to uh, use the maximum of what the treaty gives us in terms of competencies to uh, foresee that internships in some way are work because they are it is work it's it's i again i i, I when i talked to my my daughter and and she told me what she was doing well she was really working yeah. She was really working and she was paid, but even then I would say she was paid under the limit, mm -hmm. under, the, under the limit because she replaced somebody. It was in this, many internships take place in the summer when part of people are on holiday. So students are replacing even some people who are not yeah, there. That's very so, true. And they are paid under the, under the, the, the level of uh, those mm -hmm. who normally do, do this work. So even then, if they are paid, they are paid less than the normal workers. So I, I, and that's why we have to correct that, because it's finally a question of respect of young people. It's a uh, respect of, uh, of, of, of young people, of what they are able to do, what they are, uh, what, uh, of their contribution. And I think that's why we have to, uh, to uh, foresee a clear, a clear obligation uh, that uh, if somebody is hired as a uh, for an internship this person has also to be paid correctly and decently this is and it's not acceptable that the young person has to be has to pay on top or has to ask uh, his or her parents to pay on top because otherwise uh, he or she cannot afford so this is something which uh, is uh, has to be correct I'm very glad to hear actually from, from you and this commitment from, from you and com as Commissioner for, for Social Rights and, and Jobs. And I actually wonder then, is there, what is left to do or what are you looking forward to, to do on this matter still until the completion of your, completion of your mandate? Yes. Well, you know that uh, this is also an initiative in the Parliament. Uh, it was, by the way, also something, not only the, 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 the Youth Forum, uh, is fighting for it since, uh, since some time. It's also a proposal which was made in the conference uh, for the future yeah, of Europe, uh, because it's something I, I understand, because young people feel uh, not respected. If somebody tells, well, you work for me, but I do not pay them. You should be finally grateful that you can work for me. What is that? That's not a normal relationship. So I think that's why we have to correct it. So started in Parliament, there will be a vote now uh, soon. Uh, we will then come with a proposal. We have to combine recommendation plus, plus directive because unfortunately our lim we have some limitation, but we will exp exploit the maximum of what we can do in terms of uh, uh, legal, uh, legal, uh, legal base and legal competence. Uh, and then uh, we have to consult social partners because it's, it's on the basis of an article in the treaty that obliges us to consult social partners, which is good because it's also about uh, social dialogue. Uh, on one hand, 
this means that uh, Business Europe and social partners, as I mean, you and I, will be consulted and they understand why it is so important to have this legal instrument and, and unions will be consulted, uh, which shows them also that they should uh, advocate the interest of young people. Yeah, I must say that actually in our work for, for this campaign to, to ban unpaid internships, we have been working with so many people. It has been such a, a intense exercise, but honestly, I was very proud that whenever we were going, like wherever we were going, we were always meeting people that were like, yes, that's a fight that we need to, to make right now. That's really unfair that it's still happening. So we are proud that the, all these uh, political initiatives are, are taking place. And I just want to, to ask you one last question, and it's what are you the most proud of your work related to young people so far as commissioner? Well, I, I was involved, you know, years ago, when I, before I became commissioner, I was uh, during the big crisis, uh, the financial crisis, when really uh, youth unemployment exploded and I remember very well the situation in Spain which was really dramatic uh, in terms of uh, youth unemployment. So we worked at that time, I was a Minister of Labour and together with other ministers and with the then Commissioner we worked on the Youth Guarantee and uh, this was established the Youth Guarantee. When I then became Commissioner we had a new crisis, it was the Covid crisis and the first uh, suffering from this COVID crisis again were the young people. And uh, together with the president of the commission, we said, well, we should not accept the same, a, a similar situation than the one we had uh, uh, a few years ago. So we reinforced the youth guarantee and we put a lot of uh, uh, resources also in promoting youth uh, uh, employment, protecting young people, giving them the opportunity to find, to find a job despite of the uh, difficult environment. So I think these are elements. Uh, uh, we always put youth employment in the center and we ha still have to do it because youth unemployment is still much higher than average unemployment. We still have a lot of young people out of the labor market, out of uh, training uh, their famous needs. So this is my uh, my uh, objective, I, I would really address this question of millions of young people who uh, are uh, aside uh, uh, the, uh, the labor market, but it's worse than the labor market. They do not have really a, a perspective and we have to give young people a strong and good perspective. We have give, to give them confidence in themselves and that's why we have to respect them. And that's also about pay them when they work pay them when they do something, recognize what they are doing. Yeah, thank you so much and thank you for, for this chat uh, during, during this coffee uh, today and thank you also for, for your commitment to, to improve the living conditions of, of young people. Thank you for your commitment to, to end unpaid internships as, as you have stated several times. And, and as you know, within our campaign, we have not worked alone on, on this. We have been collecting uh, signatures uh, for all those people that are willing to have the European Commission to, to give a step forward and, and to legally binding, uh, like make a regulation to, to end unpaid internships. Up to now, we have collected, let me, let me check, so we are up to date. We have collected 8,010 signatures. So... I want to give you like the result of our of our petition, uh, okay. and and we really hope that the European Commission will will hear the voices of all these people that are that are demanding not to have legally binding regulation to to end unpaid internships in in Europe. So we really hope that we can see in the next months, in the next years, uh, that there are regulations in in Europe protecting young people and valuing the the work that we are doing all across the the continent. So thank you so much again for for this interview. And yeah, looking forward to the work on banning unpaid internships. Thank you very much. I take the commitment uh, towards this 8,010 and I hope many more still to come uh, that we will work on that and we, we will show 
uh, young people that Europe is working for them. Great. Thank you so much.